Bacterial Foraging Optimization Algorithms. Another class of algorithms, and uh, these uh, class of algorithms are being inspired by the uh, foraging behavior uh, of the bacteria in nature. Uh, these algorithms are being proposed by Kevin Pacino in 2002. Uh, so again, they are very uh, newer and, uh, and youngest versions of uh, the evolutionary algorithms inspired from the foraging behavior of uh, bacteria. Uh, these algorithms are specially uh, designed by inspired from uh, specific types of bacteria, including the Escherichia coli and uh, some other bacteria. Uh, specifically, uh, these algorithms uh, are being inspired by a very specific and special property of uh, the bacteria, uh, which is uh, called as the chemotaxis. Uh, in natural systems, uh, bacteria has the ability of chemotaxis. In chemotaxis, basically, uh, what the bacteria do, uh, this is this this property is related to some chemicals in the environment of the bacteria. So bacteria have the potential to move towards or move away from that uh, chemical uh, in 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 their environment in which they are living, uh, depending upon the type of that chemical and the intensity uh, of that chemical. So bacteria will either move toward that chemical or will move away from that chemical. So this potential there there consists. Uh, and this potential of uh, the bacteria, the natural systems being exploited in these uh, bacterial foraging uh, optimization algorithms. Bacteria basically, uh, they, they, they perceive the direction of food. They, per, they, they, they perceive the direction to food uh, based on the gradients of chemicals in their environment. Uh, another uh, ability, uh, again, uh, we, can, uh, we can say that uh, the food may, may also be considered as a, a type of chemical in the environment in this uh, specific scenario. So uh, this is the gradient of, uh, of, of those, those chemicals uh, which are perceived by the, the, the type of bacteria in their environment and now the bacteria will logically uh, decide whether to go towards uh, the food or, or not to go toward that food. So uh, decision strategies were there. Uh, uh, in this module, basically, we are discussing the inspiration, the metaphor, and the strategy of the bacterial foraging optimization algorithms that uh, how they were inspired, what inspiration made them possible, uh, what is the metaphor they are using uh, for their algorithm designing, and what strategy they are using uh, during their algorithm run. So, in the, in, in the metaphor, uh, we say that when uh, uh, food ki uh, gradient to health system mein, environment mein, that can be pursued by uh, different types of bacteria differentially. Uh, similarly, uh, bacteria uh, are able to secrete, attract or repel uh, chemicals into the environment and similarly they also can perceive each other in on the same way uh, due to the gradients of chemicals in the environment. Uh, they, they can perceive each other and they can perceive the, the chemicals or the availability of food in the environment by their specialized mechanisms. So uh, if, if they decide to, to move uh, toward or to move away from that uh, specific type of chemical, uh, bacteria, majority of the bacteria, not all bacteria in nature, but uh, different types of bacteria are there which have the potential of uh, motion which we call the locomotion. And they have some specialized uh, types of uh, propellers or systems who are there for their locomotion. Uh, in, in, in different uh, bacteria, there are locomotory systems called as the flagella. So they are, they are using these flagella and through moving these flagella, they are able to move away or move toward that uh, specific type of chemical or to that uh, gradient basically. Now, uh, it has also been observed that uh, bacteria sometimes they move uh, randomly. Uh, aware towards that specific signal, but sometimes uh, they are, they also uh, show a behavior in which they they can move in a systematic manner. But whatever they are doing, this moving ability will be called here as a swimming. Uh, in algorithms, may this movement ki terminology ko is behavior ko swimming uh, ke naam se hum yahan pe terminology use karenge. So depending upon uh, the cell cell interaction. Uh, these these bacteria are able to form uh, a swarm to form a group uh, to, for for the for the food source. So uh, again, uh, they 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 are doing something in grouping. So that's why again it's a it's a type of uh, swarm based uh, algorithms. Now, uh, uh, bhi, uh, group based algorithms hai, jahan pe integrations hoti hai, wahan pe emergent behavior arise hote hain. That's emergent behavior is basically 
uh, providing the capability to solve the complex problem and to give the global optimum. Uh, now, uh, what strategy these bacterial foraging optimization algorithms are using? So, uh, the strategy of the algorithm is basically based upon the natural behavior of uh, the bacteria which we have discussed in the metaphor. Uh, when we have discussed the metaphor, mein. so uh, but, but the, the, that, that whole strategy of the algorithm is being achieved in a series of uh, three basic processes. वो थ्री प्रोसेसेस कौन कौन से हैं जो सीरीज़ में यूज़ करते हैं सबसे पहले सीरीज़ में जो प्रोसेस यूज़ होता है दिस इज़ कीमोटैक्सिस और कीमोटैक्सिस का जो स्टेप है जो प्रोसेस है अलगोरिदम का जो मेजर काम है जो मेजर उसकी वर्किंग है वो इसी स्टेप के अंदर हो जाती है नेक्स्ट स्टेप में जस्ट वो जो 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 रेस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द अलगोरिदम है वो अचीव होता है और सिस्टम जो है वो ऑप्टिमाइजेशन की तरफ चलता है सो मेजर वर्क यहाँ पर हो जाता है और यहाँ पर द कॉस्ट ऑफ द सेल्स आर बेसिकली दे आर डिरेटेड Derated by the proximity to proximity to the cells, and cells basically move to the cast uh, surface area, but the movement is one by one basically. So uh, this is step number one, the process number one of the algorithm, the strategy. दूसरी algorithm जो है वो अपने जो strategy use करता है उसमें process number two में वो reproduction use करता है. And the reproduction में only those cells uh, that are performed well uh, over their generations. And they survive. Uh, they survive in the population, and they will be retained by the system uh, in the next generation as well. Our or the third one, which series' ka process is, which step is, this is elimination and dispersal basically. Or this step, in which where cells are being uh, being discarded, which uh, which cells uh, fitter are not, which which less fitter are. जो सेलेक्ट नहीं किए जाते उनको इस स्टेप के अंदर डिस्कार्ड किया जाता है और उनको एलिमिनेट करके उनकी जगह पे रैंडमली न्यू सेल्स आर बीन इंसर्टेड न्यू एजेंट्स आर बीन इंसर्टेड विद लो प्रोबेबिलिटी यहाँ पे ये भी है कि जो 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 एलिमिनेशन का या डिस्कार्ड करने का जो जो प्रॉबेबिलिटी रेट है वो आमतौर पर यहाँ पर लो होता है सो दैट्स वाई जो इंसर्शन का रेट है वो भी प्रॉबेबिलिटी लो रहती है सो द होल अलगोरिदम is using a specific strategy in these uh, three uh, basic uh, in a series of three uh, basic processes which we discussed number 1 uh, the chemotaxis number 2 uh, the reproduction and number 3 the uh, elimination or the uh, discard uh, step of the algorithm